now that this report is done and it's been released, what what um, will happen to it? Who will use it and what will it be used for? Okay, so there are a number of different audiences that the cyber is created for. On the one hand, it's created for NGOs, civil society organizations who are doing work in this area. So even at the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation, we have our Building an Inclusive Society program. So they will draw on the stats, the findings, in order to um, make change within society, shift perceptions, um, create dialogue. It's also created for government, and we hope that um, leaders will read the report and, um, and make the necessary changes, or at least begin to have the conversations around the changes that are necessary in order to enhance reconciliation. It's also produced for academia because it's a credible survey and the analysis is done to academic standards so that it will also help to um, shift the, our knowledge of reconciliation because right, South Africa is at the forefront of reconciliation so we have such a role to play in terms of um, doing the work we need to do in society but also feeding that knowledge back into a much broader part of how do we understand reconciliation in South Africa but globally in post-conflict um, situations. Mm -hmm.